peace of Christ to all. In this video, we will talk about uh, some hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, which means the correct book of Bukhari. And this is a very authentic book, you know, approved by Muslims, so nobody can say to us, this is a weak hadith. This is a game always Muslims play. When you put them in the corner, they say to you, this is a weak hadith. What you will hear today is something very funny, and will show us who is Muhammad and what Muhammad is about. You can click at the link in the side of the video so you can read the page to have the hadith translated. And by the way, I don't approve any translation because all of them they are not accurate, but it's okay. At least will help me to show you what I'm talking about. According to this hadith, two men, which they are angels, they came to the Prophet Muhammad when he was between a sleep and a weakness, awakeness. And they have with them in their hands a dish full of dish of wisdom uh, 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 made of gold full of wisdom and they cut the chest of Muhammad from his throat all the way down and they took everything out and they washed his chest with the water of Zamzam and after that for sure they put his heart back and they installed a dish of wisdom inside his chest Ah, you know for me I never heard that wisdom come in packages like a dish and I'm not sure if we can order one. So like if you are short in wisdom, you can speak to Allah and he will send you one of those dishes. Anyway, everything happened in Islam. And they installed the dish of wisdom where? In his chest. You know, I thought our wisdom is not in our chest. Especially we are talking about a physical dish. And a physical thing, it's called wisdom. I never heard about wisdom, it's something physical. But in Islam, everything is possible. After they did that, they took the Prophet of Islam in the top of a mule. That mule, it's called Al-Buraq. It, actually, it's not a mule. It's a female donkey, but it's uh, in the size of a mule, almost. Uh, she was white and sexy. And you will see the picture of that mule uh, 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 in the screen. They took Muhammad to the seventh sky and was with him the angel Jibreel, supposedly. This is the bodyguard of Muhammad, always. And when they arrived to the seventh sky, which means the heaven, Muhammad, he saw in his way all the prophets, and you will see there when you read it, it's a very funny story. Each time one of the prophets, he stand up and he salute Muhammad, because you know what? Muhammad, this is Muhammad, big, big time. He saw Abraham, he saw Musa, he saw Jesus, he saw all the prophets of God according to Islam. But the funny there, after they went inside and he went to the bedroom of Allah which is in the top of a tree the bedroom of Allah Surat al-Muntaha which is a tree Muhammad was given 50 prayer by his God <coughs> and here you will see Muhammad is getting to the bedroom of Allah which means he was talking to him and Allah was talking to him there is no mid man no more Jibreel is not the case and this is this approve the other stories when Muhammad he says the only one who spoke to Allah it was Moses which is false this is why Moses in Arabic he called Kalimullah which means the, 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 the one who spoke to Allah but as you see in this story Muhammad is speaking to Allah anyway so Muhammad he was given from Allah 50 prayer and when Muhammad decided to leave the bedroom of Allah he saw Moses outside of the door of the bedroom of Allah I don't know what Moses is doing there. And by the way, when Muhammad, he said to us this story, he saw all those prophets there. Aren't you, all of, all of you Muslims say to us always that all prophets of God except the Messiah, all of them, they are dead, including Muhammad now? So what Moses was doing there and what Abraham was doing there and what all those prophets doing there? This is a contradiction for Islam. Muhammad, he said he will, he will be the first one who will be resurrected from death. But in according to this story, well, Moses is there, and Abraham is there, and all the prophets of, of, of Allah is there. You see, Muhammad did not, he did not know how to make up a story to make it fit with each other. Anyway, let us continue. So, Allah gave him 50 prayer to pray. This is where, in the top of the seventh sky, in the bedroom of Allah, which in the top of the tree. This is a very nice story for kids and children. And how he went there, as we said, in the top of a flying donkey, he has two wings, and this donkey is very sexy, by the way, female donkey. 
Amazing how sexy it is. If you see the Muslim drawing to it, you will love it. So when Muhammad he went there inside the bedroom of Allah, Allah gave him 50 prayer to pray. And all of you will ask yourself, what do you mean 50? The Muslims pray only five. Well, let me tell you the story. Read with me the hadith there. After Muhammad he left the bedroom of Allah, he saw his Moses. And you know Musa is a Jewish guy. They are so good in business. Moses he said to Muhammad, Hey Muhammad Habibi, are you crazy? 50 prayer Allah gave you, he cannot do it. So he sent, he asked him to go back to the bedroom of Allah. Muhammad, he went back to the bedroom of Allah and he asked him for discount. Uh -huh. I never heard about discount in a prayer. Allah, he made him or gave him a discount. <coughs> Remember, the first, the first order was 50. Then Allah, he said, okay, 40. Muhammad was so happy he went out of the bedroom of Allah excited and he saw Musa. Musa asked him again, Hey Muhammad Khabibi, what happened? He said 40, 40. Musa he said, Are you crazy Muhammad? 40, it's too much. Go back to Allah and ask him for more discount. Muhammad he go back to Allah again and he asked for a discount. Allah, he made it 30. Wow. Each time he get in, he get 10, 10 prayer off. This is wonderful. And he went again out and he saw Musa. Musa, he asked him again, Hey Muhammad, what happened? What did, what's up? Tell me. What did this count? He said, he make it 30. I'm so happy. Musa, he said, <laughs> Hey Muhammad, come on. You cannot make 30. It's too much. Go and ask Allah for more discount. And Muhammad, he went again. He asked Allah for discount. Allah make it from 30 to, to 20. Muhammad, he went again out. He saw Musa. Musa, he said to him, Hey Muhammad, what's up? What is the number? He said 20. He said, you cannot make it 20. Go back to Allah. And he go to back to Allah. Allah, he make it, make it 10. And he go, he go out of the bedroom. He saw Musa. Musa asked him how many. He said 10. He said, you cannot make it 10. Go and ask him for more. And he went again. And he asked Allah. And Allah, he make it 5. And he went, he went out. Musa, he agreed. Guys, listen to this. From 50 prayer to 5. This is the great discount ever you can dream about. And in here you will see two things happening if you are not aware of. Number one, why Allah give him 50 prayer if anyway he knew is going to make it 5? Don't Allah knew the future? Like Allah playing games he was wasting his time? What this the whole story is about? If he knew it's going to be at the end five, why he didn't give him from the beginning five and that's it? Number two, why he need to bring Muhammad to him if Allah is exist everywhere? As you see in here, Muhammad is going to a specific place. It's called Sudrat al-Muntaha, the bedroom of Allah, which is a tree. Allah is living there. If Muslim says to us that Allah exists in no place, why Muhammad need to go to a place so he can receive the prayers from Allah? And if Allah want to say to Muhammad, pray five times, why he didn't give it to him as a, as a verse in the Quran? And that's it. All the orders of Allah was given as verses in the Quran supposedly. How come this time Allah want to give it to him face to face? And you will see in here that Muhammad each time, Musa, he says to him something, he returned to Allah, which means Allah is exist in a place and he is limited. He goes to see him. He is, both of them, they are in heaven. But Muhammad, he go to a specific location to talk to Allah. In the top of that, do Allah knew that Musa is going to do the correction for his mistake, that 50 prayer is too much? Because you notice in here that the one who don't agree is Musa. It's not Muhammad even. Like, where is the brain of Muhammad? Don't Muhammad knew that he cannot do 50 prayer? Why he did not ask Allah right, now, right, right away? I can, we cannot do it 50 prayer. How come Musa is the one he will correct Muhammad? Or Muhammad is not good in mathematics. So, read this story and love. This is, will show you that Muhammad, he was living in illusion. He is living in illusion. The whole story is made up 
this is not a true there's no flying donkeys and there's no God will give you 50 then he will make it f a 5 and there's no discount in a prayer if he give it to you 50 it's 50 if he give it to you 5 it's 5 and if, if your God exists in, in, in nowhere which means in everywhere you do not need to go to him in a specific location to talk to him why Muhammad did not ask Allah to do redemption from the place he was standing next to, to, to Moses Moses is a prophet of God too which means Allah did, did talk to him before so Muhammad he can't talk to Allah from there but no you will see Muhammad he returned to Allah follow with me with the coming video Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean